So here we are. Uh, you saw the video about the chest freezer I just bought, and I'm going going to go ahead and go with the conversion. Uh, thought about it last night and this morning about whether or not to use the old chest freezer and uh, as the new keyser and just use this uh, the new one that I bought or the new old one that I bought as my fermentation chamber but I, I believe I'm going to go with it. I like it. I think I can work with it and uh, make a collar and got a few questions to still figure out but what I have done is I went to Lowe's this morning and bought some wood for my collar and uh, I went ahead with poplar wood and you see it here actually the first time I went over there I got one by sixes which are five and a half inches wide and dummy me wasn't thinking I don't have a chop my chop saw won't cut six inch boards I wanted the extra space and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute um, but my chop saw wouldn't cut a six inch board so I'm going to do the miter cuts uh, and not butt them. Uh, and I couldn't find a miter box over there like a plastic one where I could cut it. So I said to heck with it. I just took the wood back. Or actually I'll take it back later. I haven't yet. Just went back and got some 1x4s. So, uh, the 1x4s are 3.5 inches wide. And what I'm going to do is this. I've decided uh, since I have rounded corners and I didn't want to try to set something on top. And have like a square corner. I don't have a router or anything where I could make the edges of my collar as round as this. So what I decided to do was uh, overhang, which a lot of folks do, and I know they do them different ways. And I'm gonna try this way. I hope it works. Is overhang their collar just a little bit, you know, down the edge here. I decided to get these little wooden stops, uh, and I'm going to glue those along the bottom and leave myself a half an inch here at the bottom. And then if you can visualize it, this bottom lip of this will sit on top of this all the way around the corners or all the way around the whole keyser. The only other thing I'm really trying to figure out is, uh, you know, that if you remember what I showed you in the last video, this, if I can not trip over all this junk down here in our junk room, this is the way the hinges are on this lid. And that just basically pulled out of uh, this hole here. So I've got to figure out how to transfer that hole to the wood that's going to be mounted over top of it. And on the back part here, uh, basically I'll just take some 2x4s uh, and cut them to height to match the collar height and bulk all this area up and then drill a hole down in the wood. And uh, hopefully I can line it up enough to get that pin in there. And I've already seen one guy that's done that, and uh, he said it was plenty strong to hold. So it, you know, even if I just do this much wood, like a nice block of wood in this area here, and if I have to bolt it through the back to give it a good strong bond or whatever, that's fine because you won't see it. Uh, it'll be in the back. And um, the only thing, just thinking quickly about how I can come up with a template to uh, transfer that is to take like a sheet of paper or piece of cardboard or something and just try to uh, get it on the corners get it on the corner here and line it up on the edges on both edges on the outside edges and then mark that hole uh, somehow with uh, probably a piece of cardboard would be better than a piece of paper and then use that uh, after I get the collar on to transfer that hole so that's that's all I've come up with right now so I think that's going to be the most critical part and the hardest part to get lined up to make sure my lid's on there straight. And if I goof it up, I'll, uh, I've actually goofed up before doing something like that with some door jams, trying to get some stuff lined up. And uh, I drilled the hole in the wrong place and I just took a dowel rod and put it down in the hole and glued it down in there actually and sanded it off real good. And it just basically filled up the hole and you can drill a new hole. But uh, maybe I can get it right the first time. I guess we'll see when we get to that point. But. Yeah, I'm going to get my chop saw out and uh, get some measurements going and uh, start getting this thing together and we'll go from there. I'll try to video it as I go and show you what's going on, so wish me luck. thought I'd go ahead and show you what I got done so far today. Uh, first of all, uh, I can get eight kegs in this bad boy. I kind of took the three I had empties right now and spaced them out. And I can get eight kegs plus... Nice little space for storage. I don't think I'm going to put my CO2 tank inside. I think since I've already got the uh, high pressure that little cable uh, hose, high pressure hose, not cable, high pressure hose 
I'll probably just drill a hole in the collar somewhere and, and leave the the CO2 tank outside. I'm thinking I'll get to that when I get to it. But uh, uh, yeah, eight kegs. How about that? That's gonna be cool. I'm I'm gonna um, well just let me show you this first. I took the uh, poplar and cut it all out to length. You got 45 degree angles going on, so. Got the front piece and the back piece. And the two side pieces. And uh, I think earlier when I was talking in the video, I said I was just going to use uh, liquid nails or Gorilla Glue or something. And I, I I really wasn't thinking through everything at the time, but obviously I did need screws. I couldn't just glue it and expect it to hold it. But... Uh, I had some wood screws that were almost too long and you can see where I just put them in and stop just shy of going into the wood. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to leave this natural or put some uh, sealing on it and just leave it natural or paint it black. Uh, I haven't decided on that yet. But The next thing I will do is uh, drill my holes for my taps. And um, I had made a little template in GIMP, if you're any of you familiar with GIMP, a little photo program. And uh, I'll probably never do, I mean, I said I could get eight kegs in here. I'm sure I won't do eight taps. Uh, may do five down the road, have five all together. Right now I have three in my kegerator that I'll be moving over here. So I'll probably just start in the center and keep an odd number. And I made that little template. I don't even know if you can see on this paper. Using GIMP, I was able to you know get the dots spaced out I'm probably still gonna stick with five inches apart and uh, I'll just find the center of this board which is I think 25 inches overall it's 50 inches so I'll just find the center and tape this thing down or something and then uh, drill my first one and then my other two and that's that'll be the three I have starting out go ahead and get those drilled and then I'll have to square this thing up and I've got a little jig, like I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I do have a little jig that'll hold this thing uh, while I screw it. And uh, I think I'm just going to go on the ends. Um, like this will be sitting up here like so. And this will be like this. And I'll probably just uh, put some screws on this end down here on the outside parts, not on the front. And maybe countersink them. Um, and then either put some wood filler in there or a little wooden dowel or something. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I want it to look nice, but I ain't really. I mean, some of these guys, you see their their keysers and keyers, as far as that goes, are tricked out nice. Look like something you buy off a showroom floor. And they're nice. I ain't knocking them, but I'm not going to do all that. But uh, as long as it's functional and looks looks decent. I just hope I don't screw up my uh, my edges when I go to drill my holes and and get this uh get these holes on the edge there for the countersink hope i don't screw i thought about using finishing nails i'm still gonna think it out before i do it but uh i may uh i don't know i may i may just use finishing nails that way i can just pop them in there and put some little wood filler in and uh and be done with it i think three finishing nails would hold that uh just fine and put some maybe some uh liquid nails in there along with it so Yep, got to figure that out, and I've got to still figure out the template for the holes and, and try to get that all done after I get the collar. After I get this done and get the collar together, I'll set it on there and uh, make sure it fits and then get the template drawn for the uh, corner post for the holes for the hinges and then go from there, I guess. Uh, I've got to order, I guess I'll go ahead and order me a Johnson, another Johnson controller because I'm going to have to have one. So it's going to be another little cost, but it'll be worth it. And I don't think I mentioned this earlier. I did buy some foam. This is the thickest foam my local Lowe's had. Uh, what is it? Three quarter inch. So uh, I know some guys have mentioned that they don't use foam on the inside top on the collars because the cold air stays in the bottom. I, I may put a circ uh, recirculation fan in here to just kind of keep the air stirring around this thing. Uh, but I am going to insulate it, obviously, since I bought insulation, and I'll just, uh, 
after I get this thing set on here, I'll fill in the gaps uh, as much as I can, at least get some insulation going on in there. And, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll post this video. Uh, I'll maybe, maybe go upload it and see how long it is. And, and uh, go ahead and post this part and have two or three parts to it instead of having one big, long, drawn-out video. So, there you go. Questions, comments, lemon.